Hello everyone, this is Mudraj and today I'm going to teach you how to prepare a good looking study area map using QGIS or QGIS which is an open source free software. Here you can add coordinates, grids, legends, north arrow and many other stuffs in your map and it will definitely look much much better than the screenshots you take from Google Maps and Google Earth. So let's begin. Before we begin, I request you to get the latest version of QGIS from the download link I have provided below in the description. After installing, keep everything ready. Let's begin. So after the installation, you will be able to find the QGIS icon here. Double click and open it. Okay, so this is your QGIS window. And from here, you can double click on the new empty project option. So in Google Maps and Google Earth, if you want to choose your study area, you can just Google or search the name of that study area and find it. But in QGIS, you can't do it like that. Here we follow a different method. So first we have to find a base map on which or from where we can find our study area. Uh, I'm going to choose plugins, manage and install plugins. And here you can search Cube Map Services. It's already there. And select Install Plugin. So this is going to be our base map of, on which we are going to find our study area. It's been installed now. And now you can go to Web and Cube Map Services. Choose OSM, OSM Standard. So you can see the world map in, on your window. Imagine my study area is in somewhere in South India. I'm zooming into Kerala. Okay, I found a place. Imagine this is my study area. Okay, Parambiculum Tiger Reserve. I'm going to choose this as my study area. And now I need to crop this study area out of the OSM map. In order to do so, we have to go to select this option, New Temporary Scratch Layer, and give that layer a name. The, it is going to be a study area, so I'm going to give it the name study area. And you can select the geometry type as polygon. Click OK. Now I'm going to start selecting this area by choosing add polygon feature. And you can see the boundary of my study area. So it's easy for me to select. You can start selecting by clicking. See? I'm creating a polygon of my study area, in fact. If you want to accurately select your study area, you can zoom in and select. Anyway, I'm going to do it a little fast. So I'm selecting so fast. Click, 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 click. Going. Okay. Now I'm done selecting my study area and if you are done, just do the right click and now you can see your study area has been selected and it's in a different color now and we no longer need the background base map so we can uncheck OSM and if you want it again, you can call it back by clicking on it. So this is our study area and some of you might be having some sample sites within the study area or some spots where you have made some observations. So we also need to add those sample sites. For that, you again go to new temporary scratch layer and you can change the name of that layer. I'm going to name it sample sites. And you can choose the geometry type as a points because we are going to add points representing our sample sites and click OK. So now we can do, we can change the color of this layer. For that, you, tell, you choose study area and go to layer styling panel. And you can see there are many options available. You can choose all symbols. See? These all are built in shapes for your study area. You can choose whatever you want. There are different colors, textures. So uh, since my study area is a wildlife sanctuary, I think I will go with the green color map. Click apply and you can close it. 
Uh, the next thing you can do is we have to add our sample sites, right? So click on the sample sites layer and choose this add point feature. I actually forgot to add it earlier. So click there and when you scroll down, you can see the coordinates are changing here. But you might have noticed that you are not familiar with this, with this system of coordinates. So you want it in degree, minute, second format. So to change that, go to project properties. And here you can find display coordinates using map units. So we have to change it into degree, minute, seconds. Click apply and OK. So now you can see when I move the cursor, the coordinates are getting changed and it's in our familiar format. And so for sample sites, you should be or you might be having the definite coordinates of that particular site. So I'm zooming into my study area and when I move the cursor, you can see the coordinates are getting changed and when the coordinates that you are having matches with the coordinates that is visible here. Just click there. So that's going to be a sample site. So you can find all your sample sites like this. Okay, I'm going to add some six all around across the sanctuary. And the, you can change the color of these sample sites as well by choosing the layer styling panel. I'm going to choose this red diamond thing and I'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit. Click apply and done. See? So now we can start adding coordinates, grids, related stuff. So to do that, you should keep your study area map right at the center of this window. It should not be here. It should not be here. It should be right at the center. And you can uh, keep the magnifier at 100. It's fine and or you can change it into 90 both will be okay i think okay so now i'm going to compose the map this is the option for composing the map you can see new print layout click okay you don't have to type anything there and here you can add your map by clicking and pulling down so your study area map has been added now And the first thing a map requires is a title. So I'm going to add a title by clicking this add label option. And you have to type the name of your title here. You can't type inside the frame. So this is going to be Parambikulam Tiger Reserve. And I can change the font size. I also change the for I okay now you can see the title here you can change the size of your text box okay now my map has got a title uh, the next thing you can do is you can add coordinates so in order to do that you can see when you click the title layer it's getting selected when you click the map layer it's getting selected so I'm going to right click on the map layer and go to item properties here you can add grids click grids you have to add grids first then only you will be able to add coordinates so I'm going to add grids first uh, modify grids you can add your coordinates even without adding grids I think I never tried that anyway modify grid I'm going to so this x y interval is in map unit you can google one map unit is equal to this much meters or this much kilometer it will be available in google so I'm just going to randomly put 105 okay now my study area has been graded I'm scrolling down I'm choosing the grid okay now you can see in the line style of that grid the 
I'm going to reduce the opacity of those lines so that it will look better. Okay, that will be fine. Going back. Now I need to add a frame on my map. Uh, I'm going to choose line border. So there will be a frame on my steady area map. And the next thing you can do is you can draw coordinates. When you just click there, the coordinates will get automatically added. So, and it's in decimal format. You can change it into degree format from here. Degree minutes, degree minutes, seconds. And there are a lot of coordinates format, formats for coordinates available. I'm going to choose degree minute. That looks fine. Okay, so you can see the coordinates and the grids. Everything looks good. Uh, the next, I think you're done with adding grids and coordinates. You can change the color and all. You can change the font size, thickness. If you are having time to spend, you can explore all those options. The next thing I'm going to add is a scale. A map requires a scale, right? So you can click here and add here. Okay, now the scale has been added. Similarly, I'm going to add an attribute table because we need an attribute table because we have to tell people that uh, these red diamonds are our sample sites or, or, the, or, or the place where we made some significant observations. But we need only this sample sites layer. We have to remove steady area and OSM standard from the legend table. So to do that, go to auto update option and uncheck, you can click on steady area and remove it. You can click on OSM standard and remove it. Now you can see only our sample site. The legend for our sample site is available. I am keeping it there. Okay. Now I want to add a north arrow. You can add a north arrow by clicking the north arrow icon and let it be here. You can change the color of your north arrow and there are different types of symbols available you can use if you want. Uh, I want to change its color to black. Okay. Now I want to add another map uh, showing the larger, larger area. So we know that our study area is in Kerala, South India. So I would like to add another map of the largest study area which is south india so you can go to the add image option and you can draw a circle here this is where we are going to add the map of south india you can go to razor image browse and you will be able to find the image here actually i have downloaded this already you can also google and download an image of south india or india and I want to add a frame on this. I can add it by, okay, here you can see the option. Just click there and now it's inside a frame. You can increase its size if you want. And the next thing I'm going to do is, I want to add an arrow indicating the exact location of my study area. So my study area is in Kerala, somewhere around here. And you can, left click and right click so now you can see i have added an arrow as well indicating the location of my study area so now we have completed preparing our map and we have to save it now you can go to export as image option or you can save it in svg format or you can save it as a pdf so i'm going to save it as an image you can give it a name and save it and you can change the resolution, page width and all. It all depends on your work. And you can just save it. Now you can see this is the map we have just created. And you can use work directly. And it looks much, much better than Google Maps or any other screenshots. So thank you very much. We will see you in another class. Goodbye.